Okay, just like a judge can disrupt President Trump's travel ban, a cop can disrupt my traveling. So I'm uh, looking at the process, and at the end of this video, at some point, I, I have a conversation with the desk worker at the police station and just ask how to pay and uh, the details for uh, showing up at court. And it sounds like a pre-trial. This is municipal uh, court, a municipal court, but that on on uh, and it's a month wait. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I did not plan on staying in in Cockle for a month. I can't ignore this though. And if I drive away and it, with it, it, I just the further I drive, the further I have to drive back here. And I'm not trying to. I don't have that kind of gas money to just blow on. On such such big long trips like I can go to Greece and back or something you know that's for the rich for the poor it's it's a different it's a different strategy and for, for me it's it's one just not travel far from the, the courthouse because that's that's like my my second home now third home fourth home it's 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 somewhere that I, I have to uh, uh, manage, all right. So I have to manage the grounds and and uh, and just kind of watch the date, watch the area, and and uh, let let uh, things develop. In the meantime, I, I could be risking uh, further further tickets in the area. I mean, what kind of people are these? They're quick to give tickets for for uh, very very. Um, it's debatable things. So, what was I? So it's like a pre-trial, and then when I plead not guilty, then I I uh, show, come back then like the next day, or there's another court date. I gotta I gotta I gotta ask, you know, is this really a judge? All right, because in Las Vegas they didn't use they called them the judge. All right, Sun. Her name was Sun Sun Lee, Sunny. Sonny Kwan, she, you look her up, she's a lawyer. That's it, With who, who puts on the judge robe. Okay, so I question, is this person like a certified judge? It seems unlikely, because I'm, I'm under the impression that for pretrials, they're not using actual judges. But they're using lawyers who put on the, the uh, appearance, the mannerisms of a judge, you know. There's... There's classes, I'm sure, that teach you how to act like a judge. Act like a judge to, to fool everybody, even if you're not, okay? There's, there's, a, certain, there's a certain distinction with their, their character. That it, it's uh, putting on a show, putting on an act. All right, so I question. And the first, the first thing to find out is who this person is. Then you can, you can look them up, all right? And that I find that I think that would be interesting. I didn't ask, and I, I should have. I, I just I was like, hmm, should I ask about the name, who the judge is? I thought that might be a little forceful. I wanted to sound more, um, like uh, selfish and just figuring out what I need to do instead of you know like it's a like this is a news report or something. All right. So this, this, uh, this, this, I'm gonna have this video, I'm gonna throw this video up with just me talking to her. She'll explain things if there's anybody even watching at this point. So the municipal courtroom is at the city hall. So they're not open till nine and then only until 12. Wow, and then they said they're open at, closed at four, but that's the time that the court is open. Oh. Wow, some short hours. <clears throat> hey, uh, where do I uh, pay this ticket? Upstairs at the police department. Oh, they yeah. don't come back down here and pay it after they give you the information. Excuse me, what information do I need to pay this ticket? You mean? It's paid at the North Bend Court. Um, North Bend Court. Yeah. Oh, this is a muni ticket. I'm sorry. Never oh, mind. you just recognized by the color? You thought no. it's the same color for North Bend Courts? 
No, uh, it just depends where you're, so if it was a traffic ticket or something, it would have been, um, so you can just pay it here. All right, uh, so um, I get information here and then I bring that information downstairs? Yeah. Okay, what's that information so, I gather? All you're gonna need is this citation number. So it's gonna actually be Q18-179219. Okay. So this is what they need and then they'll do your name. Uh -huh. And then um, they should give you two receipts uh -huh. and you can bring one back up to me and then that way we can mark it as paid uh -huh. and you don't have to appear on the night. Okay, I'd like to confirm the, the cop's name. Um, Saney. Is it, uh, yeah, yeah, what's his first name? Saney, uh, Officer Saney. His no, first no, no. name his is first... Trevor. Trevor? Okay. All right. And then where do I find out this... Uh, uh, this law, this, how do I look up this law? Um, That's a municipal ticket, so you can... Yeah, yeah, what's the wording on that, though? You can I Google, um, you can Google Coquille. Yeah. Municipal. <clears throat> okay. Codes. And then it'll bring up a book, and it's got all of the Coquille municipal codes in it. And then okay. you can literally, you can, uh... Oh, yeah, I can type, type that, that in. in. And okay. Once you Google this and, and you have this okay. up, okay, yeah. Then you, it'll. Yeah, I, I yeah. got you. I understand. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to wait till the court date, uh, like, how does that work? What is? Do you? Do they explain it downstairs or do you? Because I don't want to take waste your time. No, they don't know anything downstairs. They just take the money okay. downstairs. Okay. So, so it's um, after this closes at four. Yeah, so you have to be here prior to four, right? Okay. Right prior to four. Plus, we leave the doors open because it's uh, court, oh. court day. Um, yeah. So you show up on February 9th, and then yeah. you'll, you would enter a plea that day. Okay. And you can either plead oh, guilty that day. or okay. you can either plead guilty or not guilty. Yeah. If you're going to plead guilty, then um, the judge could take <laughs> into consideration, like, if you had something to say or oh, whatever. Yeah. And then if you're not, if you're going to plead not guilty, then she mm -hmm. would... Um, she would then schedule your court date for the next. Oh, okay. So if you please <laughs> not, if you come. So it's called, it's one of them, it's it's not a real court date, it's it's a pre-trial. It's it, not. This is a pre-trial. <clears throat> Well, because it's before this is a little bit different because it's municipal court. Yeah. So we have a judge that comes in and she comes yeah. downstairs and we hold the court downstairs. So it's not uh, yeah. in a real court but, okay. setting. You but um, she, if you plead guilty, then you could pay yeah. and be done with it that day. And but if you plead not guilty, then we would then subpoena the officer so that we have his testimony as well as your testimony. And okay. then she would listen to both and then she would decide on the next court date, which would most likely be That's interesting. In March. A month later, you, then you ask for the guy to try to recall what happened and all that. Yeah, they try to you, um, keep notes. Unless he, yeah, he did it at the yeah. time. Okay. All right, that's interesting. I, I guess that's, yeah, that covers it. Thank you. Uh-huh.